today we will discuss on how to find uh, the area under the normal curve given in a z value so there are four steps process in finding the areas under the normal curve so number one we have express the given z value into a three digit form so dapat ang z value natin is three digit form tandaan yan three digit form next number two so using the z table so in your handouts find the first two digits on the left column so mamaya mag paste tayo sa example mahalaman natin yung two digits number in the left column next match the third digit with the appropriate column on the right so mag base tayo mamaya sa z table so number four read the area or the probability at the intersection of the row and the column so this is the required area so for example ito yung area natin so ito tandaan ha ito yung areas under the normal or the standard normal curve so mag base tayo sa example find the area that corresponds to z equals 1.30 6 so 1.36 yung z value natin is 1.30 1.36 ang first step natin is to express the given z value into 3 digit form so since 1.36 is already into 3 digit form so, 1.36 is already 3 digit form. So, proceed to step number 2. So, using the Z table, find the first 2 digits on the left column. So, on the left column, hanapin natin yung 2 digits natin. So, ano ba yung 2 digits natin based on our example? So, the 2 digits based on our example is that is, ano yan? That is point Okay, very good. That is 1.3. That is 1.3. Ito yan o. 1.3. 1.3. So, hanapin natin yan sa Z table. Saan yung 1.3 natin makikita? Sa ito. 1.3. Wait lang. 1.3. Ito yan. 1.3 next that is 1.3 on the left column next ano yung pangalawang number natin or step number 3 you need to match the third digit with the appropriate column on the right so since 1.36 yan hanapin natin yung 06 so that is 06 0.06 so this one this is the two digits in the ano ito on the left column that is 1.3 and sa taas 0 0.36 so meaning ang z natin is 1.30 6 okay so 1.36 then how to find the area area ang hinahanap natin ang area is ito lang oh Tananan. ito area ito ang area nya okay ito and pababa dito sila magkikita sa itong area so the area under the normal curve when z is 1.36 is 0 0.4131 so ito na yung area ang hinahanap natin 0 0.4131 okay that is 0 0.4131 or 
31%. Okay, so that is example number 1. Next, how about example number 2 if we have uh, negative 2.58. So, example number 2, negative 2 point. So, this area is equal to 0 0.41. Three, one, and how about example number two? Number one, ito. Example number two. Uh, when z is na uh, negative two point fifty eight fifty. So, that is equivalent to, so, tandaan, negative 2.5. Mag-base tayo sa um, uh, Z table natin. So, 2.58. Negative 2.58. Tandaan, kung ang value ng Z is negative or positive, same area lang yung sagot natin. Tandaan, ulitin ko, kung ang value ng Z is negative or positive, the same area lang yan. The same area. Positive or negative. So, since ang inahanap natin is negative 2.58, unahin natin yung 2 digits on the left column. So, based on this given, 2.58, negative. So, negative 2.58. So, negative 2.58 to right. Uh, iba ito. Negative 2.58. So, and 2 digits on the left column. So, that is 2 point. Ito. 2.5. So, saan natin makita yung 2.5 natin? Positive 2.5 or negative. The same lang yan. The same area. So, this is 2.5. And, dito, and that third digit is 8 or that is 0, 08 so natin ito 0 0.08 so what is the area under the normal curve when z is negative 2.58 so that is equal equivalent to this one that is equivalent to 2.58 okay this one and 2.58 oh, ito so that is 0 0.4951 when z is negative 2.58 what if the value of z is positive 2.58 so the same area pa rin yung sagot ito pa rin yung sagot pag ang z value natin is positive 2.58 Okay, next. So, this one is equivalent to anong area na to? 2.58 that is 2.58 that is 0 0.49 that is 0 0.49 50 Pasensya na kayo kasi nasira yung tripod ko. Next, so we have... Hmm.